Hey, what's going on, Swifters? It's Timmy Swift here, and welcome to my holiday gaming guide for this holiday season. This is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video. I'm going to be running down a list of about 10 games that I think you guys should be looking at or getting this holiday season. Stuff that I have played personally. If I leave anything off the list, uh, don't be offended by it because honestly, it's just stuff that I've played, I've had fun with throughout the year, and I feel like you guys should get. Christmas is a week away. Um, if you're still looking for gifts for friends, or asking for gifts, or whatever, uh, Christmas is next Sunday, and uh, the New Year is right around the corner as well. I know some people give gifts for New Year's and stuff like that. Also, if you get gift cards for, for Christmas and you don't know what game to buy yourself, this would be a good guide as well. So what I'm going to do, the first two video, the two, first two games that I'm going to run down for you guys are games that haven't officially released yet, but I'm looking forward to in 2012, and then the next eight are going to be games that I've played that came out this year in 2011. So, the first game that is on that list of the two that are coming out hopefully next year is uh, Scrolls. Um, not the Elder Scrolls, but Scrolls from Mojang, and I'm really looking forward to this game. I saw some of the footage of it at Minecon, and um, it was... It was cool. It looked really cool. It kind of looked like a um, Magic the Gathering sort of mixed with chess and, um, you know, it's sort of like a strategy type of game, which I, I enjoy. I like strategy games. The next game is also a strategy game, and it's Air Mech. And I am actually in the closed alpha of this. I've put up, I think, one, at least one gameplay video of it already. By the way, all the links to all of these games and things will be in the description, so if you want to check out my videos on them, um, or just videos in general, the links to that will all be in the description if you guys are f further curious as to what they are. So if you're interested in checking out what Air Mech is, I did a gameplay guide on it a while back. The, um, the guide is in the description, you can click on that and check it out. But it's basically a real-time strategy action game, and um, right now it's in closed alpha. It's still being developed uh, by a company called Carbon Games. And um, the gameplay is just really fun. They're, they've added multiplayer support. You can play with your friends. I think up to four people. Um, so it's it's quite fun. I really like real-time strategy games. And if you're into that kind of thing, uh, this one's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to get used to. Um, at least for right now in the alpha. I'm sure it will become more complex as things go on. But uh, that is Air Mech. Now on to the top ten games that I've played this year. Um, most of them I've recorded. I think I'm looking at the list right now. I think all of them I've recorded except for except for one game, um, and I'll sort of explain why in a minute. Number eight is Terraria. Uh, Terraria came out in May of this year and it hit big. It was uh, it was a big hit. It still is. 1.1 just came out for that. Uh, if you guys are interested in a side-scrolling, digging, exploring, adventuring, boss fighting kind of game, Terraria is your Terraria is your game. It's on Steam. It's available for... I'm not sure the price of it right now, but go check it out on Steam. Uh, the link to my Let's Play and Let's Play with Friends will be in the description below if you want to check that game out. Number 7 is a game called From Dust. I did a full Let's Play of this game. Um, it is a sort of strategy-like game. You play as God, um, or the, the Breath as it's called in the game, and you have to lead your tribal men to a um, to an end goal, and there's tr little tribe guys, and there's there's you know um, you have to you have to pick up water and move that, you have to pick up dust and move that, and 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 create rock and and keep them from being burned by lava, and uh, there's about 18 really intensive hard levels and a bunch of challenge levels as well after you beat the game. Uh, there's a little storyline that goes along with it as well. It's a lot of fun. I had so much fun doing that doing that game. It was really, really cool. So make sure you guys check that out. Number six is Uncharted 3. And I have not done a Let's Play on this, and that is for one reason, one reason only. I don't own a PS3. My younger brother does, and uh, I have had the fortune of being able to play that with him some. Um, but I haven't recorded any. But if you're interested in checking out a Let's Play of that, I will link uh, the Let's Play to uh, my friend Seamus's Let's Play. That will be in the description below. I believe he did a full Let's Play of that game, uh, if you're interested in checking that out. It's a third-person shooter, um, treasure hunting, enemy killing. It's a lot of guns, a lot of fun. Number five is a free-to-play MMO called Dragon Nest. It's actually an MMORPG, and um, you play as a warrior or a sorceress or a um, an archer or a cleric those are the four different classes it's a free-to-play game by Nexon um, 
my let's play to this will also be in the description below i really didn't do a let's play i did sort of just a jumble of videos from it so much fun absolutely fun to play with friends it's free to play it's an online mmo and it is just absolutely fantastic it's so much fun you can you level up you specialize you get better gear you guys know the drill this one is definitely worth a look at and it's free to play you can obviously pay for different things while you're in the game but you don't have to and beating the game does not require you to pay anything whatsoever so if you're looking for a great free to play game this holiday season i would definitely recommend dragon nest something that i think you guys should definitely check out number four is battlefield 3 uh my favorite fps of the year um i really didn't play much more fps's than that but I was really glad that I bought Battlefield 3 when I did because the graphics and the sound of that game are absolutely stunning. I absolutely love playing that game. I'm horrible, horrible at it. The playlist to all my Battlefield 3 videos will be in the description as well. And um, I, it's, <laughs> I am very, very bad at FPS games, first person shooters. And um, it's just fun though. It's still so much fun for me. I, uh, I love the, the destruction of the levels when, when rockets go off, buildings blow up. Uh, it's very, very real feeling, and also, um, there are vehicles enabled as well, as all the Battlefield games are. There are a lot of vehicles that you can, you can fly, you can drive, things like that. It's a lot of fun, and I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Number three is Sonic Generations. I have had so much fun with this game over the past month and a half. Uh, it came out on November 4th. I still have one video left to put out from it. Don't worry, guys, it's coming, I promise. Uh, my let's play to that will also be in the description below. And um, basically what it is, is Sonic Old meets Sonic New, and you're both, you both play as classic and modern Sonic through different levels, and you have to uh, basically beat each level in both classic and modern. So they've sort of incorporated levels from the past Sonic games together and uh, sort of mixed it into one game. It's a tribute, it's a, I think a, is it 25 year tribute to Sonic or 20 year tribute to Sonic? the whole Sonic franchise, so make sure you guys check that out this holiday season. Number two is a game we've all come to know and love, and that is Minecraft. <laughs> um, I put this at number two, and I'll explain why in just a second, um, but this is a game everybody should own. I think all of you guys that are watching this, you probably do. If you don't have Minecraft, I definitely recommend you asking for this holiday season. It's, a, it's an indie game that came on the scene about, uh, I think, last year at some point. Uh, it's been out since 09 in like alpha and it's been de been developed over the course of the last year and a half. It's taken the internet by storm, it's taken everybody by storm. You're in a free world, you can do whatever you want, there are blocks all around you, there's dirt, there's sand, there's snow, there's water, there's monsters, there's this guy, the creeper, and uh, it is just an all around fun game. It's so much fun to play with friends, you can do whatever you want in that game. You can basically mine away any single block in the game. You can build whatever you want with any block in the game. Uh, you can craft things. You can fight things. Um, it is a absolute free world, and that's why we love it. So go check out Minecraft. My Let's Play to my most popular series, The Minecraft Files, will be linked in the description as well. Of course, in there, I teach you how to build different things and just have fun in the game. And um, yeah, go check it out. And number one, last but not least, is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Now, I put this at number one because I think this is the top game of 2011. It was rated Game of the Year. I am rating it Game of the Year as well. In my personal opinion, I've had so much fun with this game. I've put it in about, I think, 80 hours of the game so far. Uh, I still haven't beaten the main storyline quest yet. I'm still working on that. I'm still doing videos on that. So if you guys want to check out my Let's Play so far, you can. The link will be in the description as well. And Skyrim is, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what to say about it other than it's an RPG. Uh, you really can't get any more RPG than this game is. There are quests, thousands and thousands of quests. There are thousands of gameplay hours. It's just absolutely amazing. You can do a lot of stuff in that game. There really, I don't feel there really are that many limitations. Um, so anyways, if you guys want to check out my Let's Play, I don't really know what more to say about The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim other than it is the game of the year, and you should check it out for that reason. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed my very first holiday gaming guide for you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and a wonderful Christmas, which is actually a week from today. Hope you guys have a very, very happy new year, and um, hopefully you guys are also looking forward to more videos coming out from me throughout the course of the holidays and uh, into the new year as well. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this. If you have not subscribed yet, 
please do so, and I will talk to you later. Peace.